This episode of Something Crunchy is brought to you by Arizona Natural Concepts. This state-licensed dispensary serves all adults over 21 and medical patients of all ages. Offers delivery services, curbside pickup, and is one of the few that has deli-style flower choices, allowing you to see and smell the product you are actually buying. There's daily specials on flour, edibles, and concentrates, all of which you can check out at www.ancdispensary.com or come on by to 1039 East Carefree Highway in Phoenix, especially if you're on your way out to Lake Pleasant. Arizona Natural Concepts has the best selection at the best prices, and their staff is second to none. Come see for yourself at 1039 East Carefree Highway and tell them something crunchy sent you. Welcome to Something Crunchy. Tyler is homies with Blake. Blake is the older bro of Blair. Blair is married to Tyler and is a slutty slut slut. Welcome to Something Crunchy. What the hell is crunchy? Welcome to Something Crunchy. Welcome to another special edition episode of Something Crunchy. I am Kellen Blake. With me as always, Blair and Tyler Dressel. Our guest tonight is just as crunchy as it gets. He is one of the coolest people alive and needs no introduction. Please welcome the one and only Tommy Chong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said I didn't need an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. How are you, Mr. Tommy? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, are you in Canada or are you on the coast right now? I really don't know. <laughs> Floating around somewhere. Best. I'm sort of in between. You know? Oh, best answer. Right Let on. Me, uh, there's some clues. There's the palm trees and uh, it's nice weather. <laughs> I'm guessing California. <laughs> I love it. Well, we can't tell you how excited we are to have you on the show. You are just the coolest. What's new in your world? Uh, nothing. <laughs> 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 Nothing new in this world. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, we first got to ask you about these social media accounts of yours. Is this actually you posting this stuff? Because your Soch game is on fire. Oh, my TC. God. Literally funniest ever. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I post some. You know, I've got uh, the the Tommy Chong Cinco likes, you know. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah. so I got I got my you know my, my people that think of that worry about that stuff. Yeah, do they do but, a good uh, job? But they really I, I'm, do. I'm on yeah, I'm on Twitter, and and my wife and I are on uh, TikTok. I get a chance to uh, hug my wife yeah. once a week. Oh, it's the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that's that's nice you know yeah yeah no this is great stuff you're not just flexing on the gram you post some hilarious and very entertaining stuff all the time <laughs> it's really fun to follow you thank you <laughs> <laughs> so there is a rumor circulating that you smoke a little bit of weed is this true uh who, who is this <laughs> <laughs> Who am I talking to? Yeah. <laughs> you are obviously on the Mount Rushmore of celebrity smokers yeah. in cannabis culture. No, um, I, I, I want to be on uh, Stone Mountain in Atlanta. Yeah. That's where I want to. I want to have my stuff. That's where I want uh, Snoop Dogg and me and Willie. Yeah. That's, oh, like, that's like, so funny you say yeah. that because obviously you'd have to put you with Willie and Snoop. Yeah. But who would who yeah. would be in that fourth spot? Would it be? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Would, would yeah. it be Bob Marley? Would it be Cheech? You would know best. Ah. Uh, well, you better put Cheech there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Most because today would of, say Seth Rogen, and I, I don't think he deserves to be well, in, you in know, your company. I, I thought about Seth, but then. Uh, no. Cheech. Oh, Cheech. I, yeah. I agree, yes. Cheech. Seth would come off the bench. Rushmore, I mean. Yeah, Seth would come off the bench for sure. We oh, would... yeah, definitely. Oh, no, we, we put Seth up there with the fifth one, you know. <laughs> There's no reason to say we can't have five. You know? Profile Ten only or for 20. Seth. We can have as many as we want. Yeah, so get everybody up there. You know, what the hell? The one thing about weed is a great equalizer, you know. It is. When everybody smokes weed, we all get stupid at the same time. You know? <laughs> and speaking of which, let's medicate a bit for this convo. We have some top shelf Chong's Choice vape pens in the studio. Oh, with oh there you go. We, oh, we have good. one of every flavor so here. We good. got the sativa, the indica, the hybrid, each in front of us. Um, sure do. It has been a fun hour. Like we have been <laughs> oh, yeah. prepping for this in the best way. Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta get back to my vape pens. I, I you know, I'm sort <laughs> they're of, good. <laughs> I, I straight away. 
Yeah, but man. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm back to joints again. Nice. I was off oh. joints for a while, and now I'm uh, I'm back to joints in my. Uh, I, oh, you can't see this, but it's a, a real long bamboo uh, joint holder Ooh. Ooh. that I make, and uh, oh, they're very nice because they kind of, kind of cool the smoke, you know. By the time it gets there, you know those long uh, cigarette holders, or yeah, are, are joint you, holders. You know? Are you making these now? Like you make the necklaces? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really? yeah, I'm make, oh. making them all. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to sell any while I'm alive. <laughs> but then all the proceeds of when they sell when I'm dead, they go to uh, to my favorite charities. You know? Wow. That's awesome. That's cool. That's smart yeah. and sentimental yeah, and very sweet of you. Yeah, me. you know, because when, when uh, artists, one of the worst things about being an art artist is that you have to give your babies up, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, people buy them and take them home and take them out of your house, and you know, uh, for me, uh, it's like I'm looking at an oil painting I did, and uh, I'm so attached to it that I can't imagine not seeing it when I look up to the wall, you know. So, so I don't know. I'm just, uh, I love art that much. Yeah, and certain things you can't sell. I mean, they, yeah. they they don't have a monetary value, yeah, unless you have to, you know, like like my guitars. All my guitars are for sale. Everyone, really, and you, and you have I, a wall of guitars behind yeah, you. I yeah, I can imagine what that collection looks like. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, it's my third collection too. I had the other uh, two stolen. Really? Oh no! Yeah. How did that happen? Uh, one was we were getting some construction done on the house. And, oh, jeez! Uh, oh, and they okay. knew how to get in. They knew wow. how to get in. Okay, so that was like and, a break-in. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And another time, let's see, another time, oh, I, I don't know, I, they just, uh, they, <laughs> they got ripped. Well, uh, the other time was only had a, like one guitar, so <laughs> <laughs> I might have just misplaced it. <laughs> <laughs> misplaced like, your collection. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't mind my guitars because I like getting new guitars, you know. It is fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the feel of a nice, brand new, you know, nice, crispy guitar. And then, then, then uh, yeah. And, and I love the old ones, the old uh, classic uh, Martins. That's yes, what I'm looking that, for now. That's what I play yeah. is a Martin acoustic. Is it a classic? Is it an old, old no, the 50s? no, it's not. It's a it's a newer one. It's, what year? It's a, it's a nice what? it's a nice new one. Um, oh, oh. Yeah, you ain't got shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to your They're collection, the ones I give yes, I give those away for, I for what I need away. it for. It's awesome. <laughs> it's great. Oh no! If, if if you know if that's your babe, yeah, then that's your babe. No, I'm not attached to any of my guitars, and. Uh, I love the new ones. I love Trey. Uh, uh oh. Tom? Hello? Hello? There Are we is. there? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Are, Hello? Are we, are, we still, are we still on? What do you think was a crank call? <laughs> <laughs> new Tom was a Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say, oh, we must have got cut off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we said. I was like, well, that calls back. <laughs> That's that was funny. Fun. That was very funny. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, that's what I love about stoners, man. We just laugh yeah. about you everything. Know, you... Uh, that's the only way to look at life. Yeah, because when the pain subsides, then you see the humor. You know? Isn't that yeah, true? Yeah, that's, that's good advice right there. Isn't that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The humor, it, it, it's for, for comedians. Well, you guys aren't comedians, so it's, uh, it's what we do. That's yeah. what we mind. You know, we're... That's why people say to me, oh, you're so nice to your your uh, your audience, you know, your fans. Well, I'm looking for material, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are really nice to your audience you and your are. fans, so you're you're very well known for that. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm looking for material, man. <laughs> and, 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 and you get it. Oh, God, do you get it. <laughs> we... 
we, we had to shoot uh, the rest of this uh, documentary, uh, the Cheech and Chong documentary. And, and it's more than a documentary, man. It's like a film, you know? Yes. You know, the ones that you go, oh, we got to see this. Oh, yeah, Tell yeah us about I love this. it already. Yeah, yeah but, but, but before I came to that re- realization, I had the sort of snobby kind of attitude. Oh, they're doing a documentary. They must be in trouble. They're taking so much time. And then uh, Dave, the documentary maker, showed me a couple of uh, short little cuts. And (laughs) they blew me away because it's a movie. It's not just, uh, and then he did this and then they did that. You know, It's, uh, it's like a whole heartfelt kind of, you know, French kind of style movie. Oh yeah. And uh, but I I didn't know at the time, and so I I thought he was in trouble, and so I <laughs> I, I I got stoned and thought of a real funny way, a funny bit to do that would be a good ending bit for for any movie. And so I uh, <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is that I. I, I got stoned and I thought, oh, I, I got to save this movie. And uh, and I was a little off. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, what the fuck are you thinking, boy? <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but the good news is that I had disrupted the process to the point where the movie makers that knew what they were doing, they kind of freaked. Because I do have that power, you know. <laughs> so, so there was a lot of freaking out going on, and but in the meantime, I educated myself. I, I put two and two together, and I realized what we were shooting in the desert was a very serious and in, uh, serious part to make the movie more than a movie, a film, you know, right. a movie, a film. And, uh, but my wife, uh, Shelby, she still hasn't <laughs> got that vibe yet, you know, that it is a real serious picture. And so she got really insulted with her part, although I know it's going to come out really good in the movie. And so when I got home after being in the desert, you know, like working hard, all long 12 hour days and not not really working just riding in the car looking you know looking like chong you know <laughs> and and uh so we finished it and, and my again my wife was quite mad cheech was really angry you know <laughs> because it was frustrating we never had a script he just told us to, wow. to deal with different emotions <laughs> and and the one emotion that Cheech was really good at was anger. Yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> and and uh, you know I I had uh, in the scene I'm supposed to eat a gummy bear, but instead I I literally ate a one of my uh, strips, my cheese, <laughs> cheese strips. And I, but I, and, and I offered I offered it to Cheech, but he he, he turned it down. You know, because it's not a stoner movie. <laughs> but, but, but what made me laugh is that every movie is a stoner movie, you dumb fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're a Cheech of Cheech and Chong. Come on. <laughs> and so I, I uh, and, and the truth hit me. I saw what we were doing. Then I got into it because it was a huge crew. You know, we're on a flatbed truck. We're being towed. We got three cameras. We got people hanging off the rigs. And it's 110 degrees out. And these people, yeah, they got hats and stuff on, but it's still, you know, they're out in the in the weather. And we're inside a car and there's no air conditioning. So she's and I are both, you know, like in an oven. You know, and uh, <laughs> but it was uh, I got such a kick out of uh, watching Cheech and and, and uh, Shelby get so pissed off. <laughs> and poor Dave, the, the director, he's just 
He's a Jewish kid. He, he, he really is like more of a producer than a, than a true, you know, uh, in the trenches director. You know, because any any <laughs> director would have uh, calmed us down totally. You know, because they you know, know how to schmooze. But film, a lot of filmmakers they don't know how to schmooze and they don't know how to really articulate articulate stuff. You know, they only know what they don't like. That's <laughs> you right. know. And it, it's hard for them to articulate something that would replace it, you know. And so, so they, you know, he, he he's a phenomenal filmmaker, but uh, you know, uh, but an accidental good director because he got to teach, and everybody pissed off so much they give a great performance. <laughs> <laughs> I get the best. How far in development is this? But like, how how soon can it's we? It's almost see? finished. Oh, nice. this is the, this is the last last bit and and it really is you know because really it shocked me that i couldn't take it over oh, you know yeah no shit. you know because i you know i'm a filmmaker yes and and when but it's that passion you see that you need when you when you create anything right. you know like giving birth to a child you know it's like having like another guy come in, okay i'll take it from here <laughs> 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 you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and so when 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 Dave hit me with that passion, you know that don't you dare touch this baby, I'll, I'll kill you. You know, <laughs> I'll do. And 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 that's when I realized, man, this is going to be good, yeah. not just okay. You know, this guy's not playing around, and the crew was. Uh, such a real oh man you know when you when you're with a when you're making and you're with a crew that just oh like a well oiled machine yeah. you know there's no nothing I mean with the movie especially especially on on cars and you got to stop traffic and do all that shit you know and, and it was done and then the fact that we were way out in the desert was another stroke of genius <laughs> <laughs> because. Because it took so long to get to where we were going, he had time to film the fuck out of everything, and so he's got a, a movie that's gonna it's gonna blow everybody's mind. That's yeah. awesome. Wait for yeah. this. Is this gonna come out like a is a theatrical release or more of like a streaming? Oh yeah. Thing? Oh, oh wow. I, I think hey, listen. I think this this I think this one's headed for the awards. Show. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what That's what I think. That's what I think. Because look what he, think about it. I'm just while I'm talking to you, I'm just re realizing stuff. What he did, he filmed two comedians not being funny, but being the opposite of funny. You see. See, when you're when you're funny, people like you and, and you know that and everything else. But when you're not funny, <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 you get to see real <laughs> passion coming from people that usually make you laugh, you know, make you funny. You now, now you got now, now you're looking at something you've never seen before. Yeah, and uh, and in a film, and you it's like this other side, and 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 he did it. He actually did it, man. And it was oh. It's incredible. I'm going to have to write a book about it. Because, oh, then my wife, uh, you know, because she, uh, you know, she does comedy, introducing uh, Cheech and I, and then, you know, in, in our show, she does, she can do 40 minutes, you know, on her own. Wow. Yes. So, so she started, she's bitching and moaning, and I told her, honey, think about this is your, your next show when you go on stage. Yeah. <laughs> that whole experience, what she went through. Because it was uh, it, it, it was funny because Dave wanted her to put on to be dressed like a ballerina and be on, on the side of the road doing ballet moves <laughs> <laughs> in 110 degree heat <laughs> with no shade over and over again. <laughs> And, and like a true comedian said, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, what? And, and, and Dave kind of just ignored it and went on with his business. And then, like, like, and, and me, at first, you know, 
I, I was laughing all the time, you know, <laughs> because, uh, you know, she's my wife, and I know how the princess she is. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, she won't go on stage unless she's dressed exactly the way she wants to be dressed. You can't tell her I get that. Uh, anything. Anything. I get that. Uh, the only thing you can tell her, the only thing you can tell her is uh, you got something. I think you got something here. Here, I got it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Loves the positive feedback. Yeah. Does it? You no, know, she can tell me how to dress. <laughs> oh. All day. And, and sometimes without even seeing me, you know, just yelling at me. <laughs> just, She's like, I don't need don't to see wear, you. Yeah, don't wear, no, no, don't wear those sweatpants anymore. <laughs> okay? Put them in the garbage. Put them in the laundry. <laughs> oh, man. But, oh, man, when, oh. You know, and see, that's the part of weed, Ben, because I got stoned, and then all of a sudden, I saw what was going on. I saw this movie. I saw it happening. And I, I swear to God, I am so stoked. I can't wait to see it. You have us stoked. <laughs> yeah, I can't I wait to see it. I, I got to tell you this one bit. You'll see it in the movie, I know. Yes. Yes. Uh, he's directing. Dave's directing. He's uh, he's just, in, we hear him in our ears, you know. Uh, your earphones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he says, okay. And we're driving along the car, the desert heat, <laughs> it's hot, and we have to wait for bumps. And so we're driving about at least 30 miles out into the desert, and nothing's happening. And then finally, uh, he starts telling Cheech and I what he wants. He says, okay, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, when I say action, I, I want you guys to uh, argue about something. You know, uh, or 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 just ask each other if you can hear the desert hum. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he says, "And she says, okay, okay, we got it, Dave. Okay, okay. And so, okay, uh, okay. So here's what I want you guys to do." <laughs> And they teach us just fucking yell action, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I, I laughed so hard. Because <laughs> he wanted real, real emotion to teach. And he got it. Oh my God. I've never seen anything so so funny in all my life. <laughs> were you uh, were you laughing at the time? Were you laughing your ass off oh, while he's sitting there pissed? Oh, oh, oh inside? Oh my God. Because I'm just, oh, I'm supposed to <laughs> I'm I'm supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Am I say, am I still sleeping, Dave? <laughs> yes or no, but usually it was no. No, no, you're not sleeping on this one. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh we laughed. And then one one scene we had there, Shelby and Cheech and I were all in the car. Now Shelby just appears in the car. There's no, you know, logic to it. You see. So that's what I mean about film. And so Cheech and Shelby you know, they're pissed off because they're actors. You want to know what, why they're there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and so Dave, that's part of his, his, what he was filming, that that sort of, I really don't belong here, look. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I, mean, I, I realized that, and... So I started watching the movie. I could see see what how he could use it. You know, we're thinking about these people. You know, oh my God. Uh, but, you know what I mean. And, and <laughs> oh, the way he can just stick little bits and pieces of that emotion in there. Uh, oh, it's great, man. So this is going to be this is going to be something. And he, and he, when I tried to change it, he he couldn't articulate what he was doing. With giving given everything away, and you know, and and, he, and if he ever did that, and he's you know, then we would uh, we would all be conscious of it, and we we would all be doing some weird acting, you know. Yeah, uh, wouldn't have been natural. You know what I mean? 
You know what I mean? Like we would be trying to, but what he what he did, and it's like that improvisational directing. You know, he just used it, the way to annoy people to get different different uh, emotions out of them, and it was it was great. It was uh, great. That's awesome. <laughs> It was it great, worked. yeah, yeah. So, uh, so look forward. To it. It's going to be a good movie. Yeah. And, and love the fact that that we we go out. If, if we don't, never do another movie together, that th- this is it. You know. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. Man, that's hard. Yeah. That's that's hard to imagine. Sad to think about, but makes this one all the more special. And you're right. This deserves all the attention yeah. in the world I, and some awards after this. Yes, match. I hope it gets all. Yeah. The well, my my. My my whole life has been sort of like very serendipity, you know, sort of like these things, you know, happen to me. I mean, like, you know, I was a, a, a country boy, you know, uh, living in a, in a shack, no uh, running water, no indoor plumbing, you know, with my mother, and father and uh, sister and brother. This was in Calgary? And there we were in Calgary. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I mean, we never. Our luxury was a radio. Wow. <laughs> that was wow. our that was our one luxury. Wow. We got a radio, and, and guess who hogged the radio? <laughs> 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 I it was my radio. Yeah. No one else gave a shit. Uh, you know, my guess is going to be the guy it. that soon later was on the radio, especially every Christmas. It, it wasn't a Christmas without the Cheech and Chong's holiday special on the radio. Yeah. How often do you get asked to bring that back in some form? Is Santa Claus and his old lady? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Uh, we had, so, you know, that was supposed to be a start of, uh, of uh, a series of every Christmas we're going to do a, a bet. <laughs> we only got one. We no, got one. You got one. At least you got one. It's a typi- typical stoner. Okay, we did that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kept trying to get a little rhythm going with our career, you know, but uh, Cheech, no, nah, you know, he was just he was along for the ride. He, he was just along for the ride. And then when it was time to. Uh, you know, not be Cheech. He, he just took it. That's what we argue about too in in, in the movie. Oh, you're going to hear some uh, really good, uh, really good conversation between two guys that weren't really meant to be comedians. Right. You know, <laughs> God, that is going to be yeah. so damn good. I mean, yeah. Can, can you imagine? Like we never, neither, neither one of us had any aspirations at all about doing much more than making a living you know when you and, were a musician it, yeah yeah but i you know you know i started i didn't start playing for fun i i started playing like as a uh backup guitar player for a fiddle player when i was uh eight years old eight nine years wow. old wow. and uh yeah because you know in the country you just take what you got <laughs> yeah. and, 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 you know there's no casting area there and so I could play guitar enough for uh, for a fiddle player, and and he taught me all the basics, you know, while while we while the people danced and partied, and so I, I was like, you know, I never got paid other than he'd always put give me a beer, you know, I'm eight years old. <laughs> that was fun though. Love <laughs> I get to get a beer. <laughs> paid. And it would sit under my chair, you know, all night. <laughs> you know, because I, I hated the taste of liquor. Uh, I, I never got it, really got into drinking because I was too busy playing, yeah. too busy playing music. You know, when, you, when you're playing music for parties, you don't party. That's and right. Then when you're not huh. playing, and when you're not playing music, you don't go to parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's right. That's like going to, you know, busman's holiday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am very eager to get back into it, but before we do, let's take a break. This special edition episode of Something Crunchy is brought to you by Arizona Natural Concepts, the number one destination for flower, edibles, and concentrates in the Phoenix area. Arizona Natural Concepts now serves all adults over 21 and medical patients of all ages, offers delivery to your door or curbside pickup, and when you come in, there's deli-style flower choices allowing you to actually see and smell the flower you were buying. 
Check out their fantastic variety and their daily specials on flower edibles and concentrates at www.ancdispensary.com or come on by to 1039 East Carefree Highway in Phoenix. Arizona Natural Concepts also supplied us with some Chong's Choice vape pens, which was fitting for the occasion, and these are choice indeed. If you're into pens like we are, you will love the selection and prices at ANC. Arizona Natural Concepts, 1039 East Carefree Highway in Phoenix, the best place for buds. Hi, everybody. Thank you for listening to Something Crunchy, and we hope you're enjoying the episode. It now pays to crunch down every week because we're hooking you up with big discounts from big brands. Up to 35% off Invicta watches using code CRUNCHY and apparel from 8080, where in addition to 10% off using code CRUNCHY, every dollar you spend goes towards an entry in their dream car giveaway. Don't forget to join the Something Crunchy Facebook group for updates, polls, and the web's crunchiest memes. You can find us on Twitter at crunch underscore cast and feel free to send any questions and track submissions to somethingcrunchy at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the show. And we're back crunching down with the legendary Tommy Chong. So you have smoked weed with Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix, Snoop Dogg, everyone imaginable who's worth smoking weed with. Who is most memorable or most fun to smoke with? Uh, I heard Snoop doesn't share well. Uh, he hogs the goof. Uh, Snoop, Snoop, he's a he bogart. <laughs> no, 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 he doesn't bogart it. You just don't see it. <laughs> it's gone. Whatever he's smoking, that's Snoop's. That, that's his. <laughs> He's not passing that. Yeah. No, no, no. Not even out of habit. You know? <laughs> no, like this is mine. Yeah, I, I used to bug him about that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's puff, puff, pass, um, Snoop. You forgot the together. pass. Let's see. Oh, well, you know, I, I my my favorite guy, a famous guy, is George Harrison. Oh. Him and I, we uh, we had a thing. We had a thing going on. He, he loved our comedy. He didn't understand it, but he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, and me, I, I, I got into Beatles songs late in life. I'd heard them <laughs> right off the bat, but oh. they, they were more like, uh, 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 what do you call it, competitors than they were, sure. you know, yeah, someone yeah. that you could go, wow, you know. Can't be a because fan. Because I was, I was playing music before them you know you know and i think our our band was about the same yeah we started let's see we started 56 wow yeah yeah that's when i started playing the blues yeah oh, that's awesome so you yeah you're a poet a musician a bodybuilder what's something else that we don't know about you any other special interests special skills uh Let's see. I can put up with white women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a skill. That's a skill. Oh. That's a skill. I know what you're saying, Tommy. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what you, what the first thing you got to realize, uh, they can read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> they can read your mind. Uh, they don't have to look at you. They know exactly what you're thinking. Exactly. <laughs> All the time. So <laughs> my advice, guys, is know that. <laughs> wow. That's good advice. That's true. <laughs> and that's a way of communicating, you know. <laughs> you don't have to talk. You can just. <laughs> I, I got saw this you. Old couple. Yeah, I saw this old couple. Oh, she was famous. I can't remember. Uh, uh, what's her name? She's like an old, old actress. <laughs> and their husband was older than she was. You know, obviously, obviously there was a little financial thing involved, but she, she was digging through her, oh, what's your name? Oh, God, right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, we're all looking for our luggage. You know, we uh, got off the plane. And, and I swear to God, the old guy never said a word. He just walked beside her. 
And she turned to me and she said, will you quit yelling at me? <laughs> I'm doing what, the best I can. And I, I knew I wasn't deaf at that time, but he never said a fucking word. <laughs> he, just, he just looked like he was yelling at her. And she, she he turned quit yelling said, at me. Would you quit yelling at me? I'm trying to fight it. <laughs> That's being trained in submission. Uh, no, no. The thing is, man, with, with, with beautiful women, because really, that's really that's only women that I've been around. Uh, you know, yeah, seriously. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. And uh, and 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 uh, there's a art art to uh, you know to be in. Uh, you know, when I was a kid walking to school, uh, I never walked with the guys. I walked with the girls, yeah. Yeah. the older girls, <laughs> yeah. the older girls. Oh, man, I had the most Ooh, fun yeah. because you become a, a like a fly on the wall. You know, they, they don't even see you. You're just some little guy that's there. Okay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, and they talk, man. They, uh, that's how I learned. That's how I learned to charm women. That's how I learned what not to look like. <laughs> That's what I learned what not to say. Uh, you know, I learned not to, even to be a cool guy. And, and most of it uh, was uh, just shut up and, and just tell them how good they look. <laughs> <laughs> good class. <laughs> Whoop, did I? Oh, what happened? Are you there? Yeah, we're yep. here. Oh, because uh, I heard a little buzz sound like I got cut off again. No, no, we're here. We oh, I did. Here. Oh, there it is. There's another buzz. I think I'm running out of battery. Maybe that could be it. Let me see if I can find it. Let me, let me <laughs> plug my phone in here. Take your time. <sighs> I'm literally crying. Yeah. I, I got, so I got funny. my daughter. My daughter is living. Uh... Oh, shit. No. Oh, oh, that's me. Sorry. No, I don't have the charge. Then, <laughs> oh, the fuck is everything? <laughs> Fucking I, technology. I've been, I've, been, I've been locked in for a year, and I still can't find shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find it. Okay, well, I think I got another ten minutes anyway. Right on. Cool. That's perfect. Uh, so I heard a crazy story. I heard you were cellmates with Jordan Belford, Wolf of Wall Street. You, you actually uh, helped him we, write his book? We don't say cellmates. Uh, I see. We, we say cellies. Sellies. He was a cellie. So uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I helped him. I, I, I insulted him. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> you know. uh, that's the only way you can teach rich fucks. You know? <laughs> Cut them down a peg. It's true. <laughs> no, no, you you got to insult them. You know that's the only thing they re react to. Got to challenge them. It's true. Uh, Ch challenging you know, them is definitely you, the right word. If you give you give a rich guy a compliment, they think you want something, <laughs> yes. and so usually true. you do. Yeah. yeah, usually you do because why else would you be talking to this? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and so. So Jordan, I was writing my book and, um, you know, every night I'd sit and you know, write away and, and Jordan, when he, he would, he'd be playing tennis because we had a tennis court there and, and Jordan's a pretty uh, good tennis player. And, and then one day he said, ask me, you know, what are you doing? And I told him I was writing a book and he says, Oh, I'm going to write a book. <laughs> and so he, he sat down and wrote a page and, showed it to me the next day and <laughs> and I, that's when I insulted him. I said, no, you haven't written shit. He was not expecting that. Uh, and the, but the truth was he, he's got this photographic memory and he wrote really a, a page out of the bonfires of the vanities, you know, yeah. Tom Wolfe. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean it was so obvious, you know. And he's from that area. He's from all that, uh, you know, that uh, Long Island, uh, ritzy, rich crowd. Mm -hmm. And so he says, so he, he, he it was good. I smacked him. Then he says, so what should I write? What's your advice? And I says, write all that shit you've been telling me every night. You know, all the adventures. And then I told him the uh, 
the rule of writing or movies or anything is that you got to show people the most of, you know. Yeah. Like if you're going to be high on coke, you got to be so high. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not, you're not just high. You're just, you know, like he did in the movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cerebral palsy. So he, he looked at me and kind of smiled and he went away and, and then he wrote straight for the whole month that I was in there with him. Wow. And, uh, he would write it, write every day, write every, almost day and night. And then when I, I was up for a while, and I forgot about it. And then I got out and then uh, uh, he got out soon after and he came over to my house and we're not allowed to, you know, ex cons aren't supposed to uh, talk to each other when they get out. Right. So he stayed in his car and peeped his horn and I came to the window and he yelled, so, I wrote a book. I wrote oh. a book. And I sold it. It's a movie. It's oh. a movie. It's, uh, it's gonna, uh, Martin Scorsese is going to direct oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> the Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, wow. my God. See, and you deserve more credit for that, for having the it's influence. You're welcome. No, yes, no kidding. Not at all. He, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. The no, least no. he could have done. Money. Was... I, I would take money, but not <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, little... I think it should have at least been called Chong on Wall Street. <laughs> well, he uh, Chong of Wall Street. <laughs> no, Jordan. Jordan always tells people, you know, that I he drops my name a lot. You know, oh, I love that. That's I, cool. No, he's a cool. He 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 is a genius. That's why I could insult him. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can insult geniuses. They, that's what they respond to. Oh, you know, someone challenges. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got yeah, If you challenge them, you know, they'll go. Oh, they'll listen to you. Because you know, the whole thing about being genius is that you're constantly learning. Yes. That's my definition of a genius. It's someone that's never stopped learning. And and we, we were lucky enough to meet them, you know, before they passed on. But, yeah, the, the, these people that are, they, they just know their craft, whatever it is, you know, really nice. I want to get us off before your battery dies so that we could thank you, not not just for this call in the, in the interview, but for everything, for making us laugh. For years and years and years, you really make the world a better place. Thank you so much, Mr. Tommy. Yes, for thank you, you sir. being you. Thank you. Who's this? <laughs> Still us. Hello? Uh, <laughs> uh, who are you going for? Who is this? <laughs> like a large pizza, cheese. And, um... <laughs> Chong? Chong? <laughs> Sidebar. That's, uh, that, that's what Cheech told me when he moved up to, he, Cheech moved up to uh, um, 29 Palms, you know, up that area in the desert. And when he moved into the neighborhood, he took a guy uh, with a sign standing up inside his door saying, Welcome to the neighborhood, Chong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome home. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for having me. I oh, really enjoy it, man. I love talking to comedians. Oh, thank you. you know, I, don't, I don't get that chance often. You know, they're serious, uh, you know, serious... Uh, announcers and shit yeah you see serious people doing serious things we, we love the uh, it's reciprocated we love talking to comedians this was uh one of the most fun interviews that we have ever had it, yeah. it's uh, very very seriously. memorable and i encourage every one of our listeners to follow mr tommy chong on ig and facebook plus his tiktok that he mentioned you won't regret it also check out chong's choice vape pens and flour it puts the high in high quality and we get it down the street at yeah, arizona so, yeah, concerts buy, yeah, yeah so buy 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 all my shit <laughs> yeah, and if you'd like a message or a quick word from the legendary Tommy Chong oh, yeah. sent to you or a friend, you can request a custom message from Tommy on the Cameo app or Cameo.com. You are such a treat yes. to talk to. We cannot thank you enough for your time, Mr. Tommy. Yes. We will be so eager for this documentary and for everything oh. that you're up to next. Oh, I can't wait myself. Well, <laughs> well, let's 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 talk before or after, okay? Please. Oh, we are here to laugh with you anytime. I would love to have you back on to promote this. We're going to call you every day just yeah. to make sure that that's still cool. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. People do. Some people do. <laughs> okay, take care, y'all. Oh, love thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. Love you, love too. Love you.
Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, Tommy Chong. We just smoked with Tommy Chong. Yeah. Check that off the old uh, bucket list. Bucket list. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are among those who got the highest version of Tommy Chong. He, yeah. for the first 30 minutes, he was just in like a laugh riot. He's I was so in a laugh funny. riot with him. God, that was so funny. I cried throughout that whole thing laughing. There was purple. Blair was purple. I was. She I laughed fuchsia. so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. I thought it was a something crunchy sign, but it was Blair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Oh, God, that was fun. How does he not put a smile on your face? That laugh? Come on. Amazing. Tell him about Cheech, like, getting him all riled up. That's so funny. I like, love how much he loves and adores Cheech. I know. You like, can tell he loves He likes working so with his buddy. He likes yes. working with his buddy. He and that, fun. I know they have such a history, and who doesn't when you're that close and of for that course. many years. And like he said, they were never meant to do all this that they did. It just and happened. These comedians. I hope he hears this and he can hear me say that thank you for all the comedy albums that you put out before any of the movies and stuff too, just for the people that didn't know. It. You couldn't find real comedy back then on TV because it was so censored, but you could find it on albums yeah, and records and right. stuff and tapes. Damn right. And they well, put out some uncensored shit that was just next level funny and got me into comedy at a very young age. Thanks, Mr. Tommy yes. Chong. Yes. Hell yeah. Well said. I had questions for just the rest of the night, like just at least discussion points. There's just so many fun Tommy Chong facts. Like, so you, you heard about Jordan Belford. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. We got a lot of fun facts in there. Let's Crazy. Go, let's talk about a couple other did you knows about our oh, the, crunchy guest of the evening. Oh, my, there's probably so <laughs> much we don't know. Oh, man. Let's just get into like the new stuff that's even like relevant. Did you know he was on Dancing with the Stars? Even made it to the semifinals? Really? It is the oldest person ever to make it to the semis on the show. That show's been on for, what, 20 years? Yeah. It's because it's based on votes, and who doesn't love Tommy Chong? That's true. Yeah. Everyone needs more Tommy Chong. I'm sure he can dance the fucking shit out of that floor. Yeah, he's a musician. (laughs) He knows how to groove. He was also supposed to be the voice for one of the hyenas on The Lion King, it was even written for him in Cheech, but he backed Ooh. out because he didn't care for Disney really at the time. Okay. And he gave the role to Whoopi Goldberg. But who killed it. Who killed it. Yeah. And but the role was written for him. The writer even like reached out and was like upset that he didn't take it. But like, you know, Tommy had his image, Disney has their image, and sure. it didn't have a lot of crossover vibe. But as you very well know, in 2016, he did turn it around and unite with Disney to give us the role of the Yaks character oh, yeah. Zootopia. in Zootopia. Oh, my yeah. God. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is playing in your home as we speak. <laughs> as it is on a daily basis. <laughs> About five or six days a week, it is. <laughs> that would have been cool to tell him. Be like, yeah, why? Like, you can- my you hang out in our home. Four-year-olds right? watching Everybody. you. My four-year-old Eric obsessed now. with the yak <laughs> in Zootopia. That's awesome, man. Yeah, we can go all night with the oh yeah, the genos and the fun facts. He's he was so, so fun. interesting, so cool, such an easy guy to hang with. He's just so fun and loving, and such a good heart. Like you can tell, he's he from wants, Calgary. Should he wants know. like happiness for truly, like for every person. Which I feel and like I love people like that. And he truly so is like the essence of just like he gets it. true Here. love for every single person, no matter who, what, when, where. Like he was amazing. Oh, he was great. So let's go ahead and take the comedy stand up specials and albums off the table. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite role that you found Tommy in? Was it a Cheech and Chong bit? Was it Leo in that 70s show? Or was it in Zootopia was it in something else too? Mm-hmm. Was it a Squirrel Master in Half Baked? Oh, oh it loved it. Squirrel I, Master. I don't know. I mean, anything. I loved him and Cheech together, and it's like how you could just hear him like laughing and how much fun they oh. had. I love seeing fun chemistry, like that good natural chemistry when you know that like he really is having fun seeing Cheech getting like pissed off <laughs> that what you see truly is like how it felt. And, like you could see that with both of them. And like I love their like what they brought and together. Flair's Tom- going original. Flair's I original am. recipe. <laughs> I'm going extra crispy. Chong. 
It's the same thing. I mean, he's so amazing in that role, and it's such an iconic duo. It could have been one of the first comedic duos, really. Yeah. Especially of that nature. Uh, I was going to say of stoner comedy, yes, because there's a lot of... Comedy duos before them. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of... A bunch of crusty old white guys. Yeah. But, you know, other than that... No, he one of the most iconic. The, the, any one of our generation, they would be probably right. one of the first comedy duos. Did it in such a different into. way, where you just like you just yeah. love them. Like it's like what like. And their comedy translates on all kinds of media. Yes. It doesn't matter if it's just audio; they're funny. If it's video, it's, it's funny. funny. Mm. If it's like pictures it's of them, it's, it's funny. So true. If it's art of them, if it's just like anything. They translate All onto around. everything. Their comedy is universal. They started on stage, then FM radio, then albums, then cassettes, then CDs, then movies, now documentaries, yeah. and streaming. He needs to put out one NFT before he calls it, and like yeah. he will have the whole oh. like, spectrum. Oh my God. And lives on forever. And well, all of his work does. Yeah. yeah. His work is going to live forever and ever. Man, those are funny. Do for a watch. <laughs> I'm going to knock out just like a night all in a row, all the Chongs, all the Cheech and Chongs, every movie in a row. I can't wait to see this new film that he was like talking Mm. about and giving us all these spoilers. We'll do it that weekend. Yes. When it comes out, we'll knock out the old ones. We'll have Cheech and Chong weekend. Oh, yes, please. Load up on Chong's Choice. Yes. Watch all of the Flickatoriums. (laughs) Get ready for the documentaries. (laughs) Oh, that's a fun weekend. That will be epic and awesome. So is 8080's dream car giveaway number 47 for a Lamborghini Huracan plus $60,000 in cash. This is going on right now, and they are offering five times the entries, meaning every dollar you spend gets you not one, but five entries into the dream car giveaway action. You do not want to miss out, nor do you want to forget to check out somethingcrunchy.com where you'll find every episode, our links for social media, and the Almighty Crunch Store where you'll find all kinds of crunchy gear showing that you are a proud citizen of Crunch Nation. Then there's the Something Crunchy Facebook group, our nasty little group. You're naughty. (laughs) Naughty. You're called memes, Blair. You don't want any of this shit. Turn your bad feelings into good feelings. Sounds kind of expansive. (laughs) This has been one epic episode of Something Crunchy. And as always, don't ever forget to live your crunchiest life. And be crunchy to one another. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, and all that crunchy good shit. Thank you for listening. We'd like to sincerely thank Arizona Natural Concepts for sponsoring this episode. We tremendously value your support, and if you're in the Phoenix area, go see the awesome people over there on Carefree Highway and tell them something crunchy sent you. Arizona Natural Concepts, 1039 East Carefree Highway in Phoenix, and online at www.ancdispensary.com. <laughs> Hello, this is uh, Tommy Chong calling. Mr. Tommy Chong, how are you, sir? I'm very well. I'm two minutes early, I believe. <laughs> You're right on time. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank <laughs> you for being here. What a pleasure. I bet you get this request every single time, but it would mean the world to us if you would just smoke like anything while you're on the call at any point. Just so we could say we smoked with you even virtually. Oh, so, okay. Well, I've been practicing that one all day. I all thought right. you'd yes. love to hear Me too. What? Well, no, I do. Com- I do uh, cameos and. Uh, Yes. Some days they, that's everyone's a request for me to smoke I'm sure. up. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I so have you've to, been doing uh, do cameos today. <laughs> Working yeah. hard. Uh, okay, let's do it. Here we go. Yeah, thank you so much. <clears throat> oh, you're do, do, so smart. That <laughs> <laughs> blows me away. You gotta make that money. That's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs>